Good morning, everybody. And as one senior celebrated with his mask, happy St. Patrick's Day. In today's gospel, we have the gospel picking up on yesterday's reading. Remember that Jesus had cured a man who was ill for 38 years. And rather than Jesus assisting him into the pool, Jesus basically tells him, rise, take up your mat and walk. And immediately the man became well. He took his mat and he walked away. Now that day was the Sabbath day, and the Jews said to the man who was cured, it is a Sabbath and it is unlawful for you to carry your mat. But later in the temple, the man and Jesus meet again, and upon learning who had cured him, the man goes to the Jewish officials. And the Jews begin to persecute Jesus in today's gospel because he had did this healing on the Sabbath day. In the gospel, Jesus responds to their questioning, and he puts it in terms of the work that God does in this world. The Jews also question him on his identifying as a, identifying himself as the Son of God. You see, the Jewish officials have already judged Jesus on the fact that he healed the man on the Sabbath day, and now they're even more inquiry as to how he could claim to be the Son of God. But unfortunately, you see, the Jewish officials are looking at the actions of Jesus and what day it was, rather than looking at the fact that there was something positive that came from this, that this man who had been ill for 38 years is now walking and actually be, being able to become a productive member of society. But even the bigger plus that we sometimes miss is lying underneath in the fact that when Jesus meets the man in the temple because he had slipped away upon immediately healing him because the people were gathering, but they meet in the temple later, and Jesus tells the man, look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. During that time, we have to realize that meeting in the temple, Jesus is not passing judgment as the officials had done to Jesus himself and to others, but rather he is encouraging the man, he is encouraging us, to acknowledge our sins, to seek reconciliation, and then to go and sin no more so that we don't make things worse for ourselves. The Jewish officials in today's gospel could only see things in black and white. And because of that thought process and the many rules that they had placed upon the people, their ability to judge gave no consideration for the final consequences that those people had to suffer, or the benefits that they may reap from not passing, getting judgment passed upon them. Now think of judgment as sort of like being a lighted area. When you're in a lighted area, it reveals positive and negative things. When you put light on a beautiful object, the light shines on it and it looks even more dazzling and more amazing. But when you put light to something that might be distasteful or ugly, it looks even worse. It looks uglier when the light is on it. At times, we may see others, and we see their actions, and we make judgments, but we don't know the details behind their actions. Today's Gospel should call us to think that rather than passing judgment, as the Jews, Jewish officials had on Jesus, that possibly we should ask ourselves, why are they doing that? How could I possibly assist them? How could I assist myself in some of the actions that I have? Think of it this way. Someone might avoid seeing a doctor for years because they're fearful of uncovering something like a disease or something that might be a family trait that's passed on to them, such as diabetes. But how much better is it for us to know this condition and to correct it, even if the doctor was to pronounce a harsh judgment on our future physical condition if we don't change our ways? If we look at it that way, 
and we reflect upon the work that has to be done, well, not only within this church, but within the community. We should be asking ourselves, how can I focus more on the work that God has for us? How can I not fall into the snare of sin, of gossiping and being jealous, and looking at others with despair around us because their actions are determined by details that we don't know? How can we help us ourselves to further the way in God's world? Remember that from the beginning of creation, it was God's work that kept this universe in existence. And Jesus told us today in the gospel that he shares in that work. If we feel disillusioned, we need to remind ourselves that all of this is for God's work. We need to realize that the divine light shines on the place of judgment and that God's real love will be unleashed during that judgment. With that in mind, we have to realize that Jesus is always by our side. And with that, we could say the Father is at work and I too will work also with Jesus.